um, with property management, the way I manage this, so you see uh, with the leasing, so basically I'm like um, checking the properties and asking for information. For example, you see here, um, approve the applicant short description. By the way, this is something we added just um, this year due to the COVID. Like um, if, if, if uh, you would tap into our process, uh, uh, I don't know, last year before uh, COVID, uh, if uh, uh, the, uh, the, the tenant, meaning the application would come with, uh, uh, I don't know, a tenant that is uh, making, I don't know, four times than the uh, rental amount. Right. He would, would meet the criteria. Um, but today, like this is the software requirement on my end from property management, we want to know like what is their occupation. Because you know some some uh, segments are I would say um, less sensitive to uh, to I mean let's let's for example compare I don't know flight attendant to uh, someone who is working in a university hospital, right? Exactly. So we are managing risks really end to end, and the risk management is really with the attention to the details, the experience, and obviously the leveraging of the team. Because even if you would know all of that, being an expert project management, it doesn't mean that you know property management or contractors would conform with your process. And here we basically can enforce uh, this process because they are all enjoying a lot of business from us because we are referring uh, a lot of work to them. So it's really serving everyone to, to really enjoy the power of the of the group from our end and for them, the you know. Uh, to get the, really the, the work from our clients. Very interesting. Um, questions, thoughts so far? No, it's, it's very impressive that you think of everything from you know, start to finish and, and that it's ongoing, that, that you're working with the management company that's finding you know, the renters and screening them. And it seems you have control of the, the whole process. I would, I would love to know a bit about what uh, uh, you're doing, but because you really said something that uh, I, I believe it's, it's true, because eventually, you know, it's work, you know, getting up in the morning, doing the follow-up, uh, working on the details. And also, I would say, you know, it's, it's, it's the thing that is developing with time. I didn't think about all of this, you know, in a day. I don't think it's possible. It's just, you know, working day by day and improving, learning from each project, making the process and the system more accurate, better. So that's an ongoing work. And here in, uh, you know, in this area, I think it's important, you know, to share that I'm working since 2014. So the probability for us, you know, getting surprised is, is lower because we are working as a, really a machine. One more thing that I think is important to note um, is the financing terms. Uh, I guess uh, you, you can check it uh, uh, on your end, but in terms of what we're doing here, what I showed you so far is just about, you know, trying really to present uh, that we are doing things well. Uh, but we didn't talk too much about doing the right things. I mean, which deal is the right one for you? Which kind of uh, location? Which kind of a price point? This is also a subject for inquiry, and we assist with, the, let's say, the... Uh, guidance and, and uh, on this end as well. So, for example, uh, the first day, uh, one of the first steps uh, on the investor end is to do some kind of a pre-approval and understand like what kind of terms you can get. Understand like if uh, the terms are depends dependent on specific uh, uh, property price point, etc. And we play all of the uh, inputs from what you uh, get obviously we guide you you know working with mortgage brokers or with the banks we can also connect you uh, to other options you know to really do the uh, check that you get the best uh, uh, proposal and after that we help you like simulate okay let's get all the terms you get into into the spreadsheet with the financing let's put it with the different price point uh, properties and let's see what it makes in terms of the numbers for your cash on cash. Right. Because it might be that you're getting a higher or lower uh, LTVs, loan to values per the price point. So we can, add, you know, saying, okay, let's make sense out of that. Let's play it in, uh, in the spreadsheet. Let's see what it makes and, you know, determine in this way, which kind of uh, location or price point 
uh, is best to pursue. And obviously it's one of the considerations because then you can say, oh, I still might consider the B class area uh, because uh, I, I'm seeing the, uh, you know, the data on the neighborhood, income, crime rate, et cetera. And I, and I feel convenient more here in terms of, uh, of risk management. We can also provide information on the type of tenants. This is the target uh, or the, you know, the profile of tenants uh, that we get in this area. So you can basically in this way make an informed decision which direction suits you best. I see. Okay, so how does it sign, sound to you uh, so far? Yeah, it sounds really good that, that that's more of the, the type of investment that we would like to do where where this won't take a lot of our time. It would be, you know, be different if we had a property here that we were overseeing. We would be you know, checking on it. We'd be collecting the rent or finding tenants and, and it would be very, very involved. But with somebody managing it and collecting the rent and that. So an important point to uh, mention for, uh, for the, you know, uh, transparency, the, the investor, meaning you, the owner of the property, you are the direct client of property management, meaning each investor, you own this property. It's not part of a group. I mean, in, in the property management perspective, the way, see, uh, the way they see us, they see us as a group, meaning they have like in their system, not linear group. Uh, but each, each uh, owner has his own properties. So you have like right. your personal, they have like, you know, the owner portal and you are getting logged in to your, uh, 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 you know, private area and you can see the, uh, you know, monthly reports. And then there is like the net amount to bank account. So you need to review this uh, each and every month. You need to uh, go into your bank account and make sure that the, the funds were deposited. So in, in this sense, from the moment uh, we deliver the, pro the uh, property to property management, basically they are taking the leadership uh, from this point onwards and you are their direct client. Formally is until the time point that the property is rented out. I'm not part of the property management. I mean, I'm not a partner with property management. We are working together. We have business relationship, but I'm not an owner in property management. So this is an important you know, disclosure that I, I want to share with you. Maybe another thing, we started mentioning that you were thinking about the construction or constructing a home, maybe flip deals and, and multifamily uh, deals. Basically what I've showed you here, you know, eventually, rather you know regardless of if you like uh, renovate four units or one unit or you know you rent the property or sell the property the process and the way we manage is similar that being said uh, it's not the same uh, model what i've showed you here is a model for investing in just building single family home portfolio rental properties honestly this is my main focus this is the main thing i'm, I'm doing uh, right if uh, you are interested in some, and I, and I try to, you know, to share with you why. I mean, there is a reason for that. The reason why we are holding properties is because the, the, there is a, a very nice compensation on time of uh, holding real estate right now. So it makes sense. If you are into a different model, uh, a, sorry, a different transaction, it might be a different uh, model. For example, uh, multi-units, you know, four units or 40 units or 60 units, it's not the same price. Um, so it really depends eventually what you want to do, what is your budget, etc. So I'm, it, it, I'm saying it because it, it more ends, you know, with your inputs. Like if, if it makes sense for you and you're interested in what I've shared with you right now, great, then we're finished. If you want to pursue a different uh, route, we can talk about uh, the model. And this is why, you know, I, I invested most of the time not to, uh, you know, um, present the different models, but maybe try and go more into the essential of the details, the process, you know, the diligence that we put into it. Because then once you see that, you, 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 can, you can understand how we are working with each and every different type of, uh, of a transaction, regardless of what it would be to sell the property or hold the property. That was the reason I, I focused more on, you know, on what I've showed you in this hour. Well, it's a lot of information and um, I can definitely, you know, talk this over with my partner here and um, see how we move on with, you know. Yeah, 
And I, I propose it as an open-ended uh, conversation. Like if you think it's uh, relevant and you want to, you know, learn more details or you have follow-up questions, then really the communication channels from my perspective are open. Email, I have a US number if it's more convenient for you. We can do another Zoom calls. Really feel free. So the ball is on your court and I would love to hear your thoughts and feedback after you, you check things on your end. We sure will be in contact with you, Nir. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Don. Take care. Yep. Have a good day.